Yesterday during my live stream, a YouTube viewer by the name of Peach Cobbler came on and said, by the way, my ChatGPT prompts have been selling on Etsy. Thanks for the video. So in this video, I am going to show you exactly what you can do for free to start making money with Etsy. This stuff works, guys. You just have to do it. So watch this entire video as I'm going to walk through the process. I'm going to answer some questions that keep popping up on the original videos, but this is something that you can do to start making money. So I encourage you to do it and I encourage you to watch this entire video. Hi, my name is Alston Godbolt with AlstonGodbolt.com. I create content to actually help you make money online and not just to put money into my own pockets. And if you want to be added to this globe, simply reply or comment down below with your city, state, province, country, and I'll get you pinned. All right, so I was really excited when I saw this. Again, by the way, my ChatGPT prompts have been selling on Etsy. This is proof that this works. I didn't ask for testimonials. I didn't ask for proof. She, he, they hopped on and said, you know what? I want to make sure I share this because what he actually tells us works. So what we're going to do is we're going to go step by step from finding ideas. We're going to actually go over to ChatGPT. I'm going to tell you some, some prompts to put in. We're going to take a look at some sample prompts, and then I'm going to tell you and show you what to upload over on Etsy. Now, normally there is a 20 cent fee for every Etsy upload. I actually have a free coupon so that you can actually upload your first 40 or so for free. Click the third link in the description so that you can get access to those free Etsy listings. You get free ones, I get free ones, everybody wins. Let's go ahead and jump into the computer. Now, the first thing that you need to do is you need to find Etsy prompts. Before we even do that, let, let's talk about what ChatGPT prompts are. ChatGPT prompts are simply prompts that people are going to take from you and put into ChatGPT and get an answer. For example, I might create a ChatGPT prompt on how to find a niche. So you're gonna take those those uh, prompts, you're going to put them in and you're going to get answers back from ChatGPT. Now, you might be asking, why would someone buy this? People buy stuff that when it saves them time, saves them money and helps them avoid frustration. Giving someone a bunch of done for you prompts helps them save time, which they're willing to pay for, and it helps them avoid frustration. Okay. If you don't know what to put into ChatGPT, you have two options. You can sit around, spend hours trying to create the perfect prompts, or you could give up and quit. Us selling these prompts helps shortcut the frustration process. That's why people are willing to buy them. People will buy these. They'll buy them in droves. In fact, I've purchased some. If we're being honest and transparent, I have purchased ChatGPT prompts because I wanted to save time. I do not have time to waste on trying to figure out the perfect prompts. So I went out and bought some. That's why people buy. Okay, so when you realize that you can help save someone time, you can help save someone money, you can help shorten frustration, they will buy from you. Okay, so now that we have that out of the way, let's take a look at how we can find different ideas. One way is we can hop into my computer and I'm on a website called answerthepublic.com. What I did, and this is a free website, I typed in ChatGPT prompts. And if we scroll down here, we can see how to write ChatGTP prompts. We can see if we keep scrolling here, ChatGPT prompts for resume. So someone wants to get a job, they want to perfect their resume, and so they're looking for the best prompts. Uh, ChatGPT prompts for business. People may want to get more customers, but they don't know what questions to ask ChatGPT. These are all things that we could create. ChatGPT prompts for writing a book. Okay, this is a big one. I've seen a lot of people talking about creating and selling books using AI, but they don't know what questions to ask. So again, we are going to help shorten the time for people to get to the end result. And when you do that successfully, you put money into your pocket. But you can see here, there are tons of these questions. Chat GPT prompts for lawyers, for copywriting, for social media pros, for academic writing. This works, okay? So this is just one way. A second way is I headed over to Ahrefs. Um, you can see that people are searching this. There are 76 keywords. I think that's gonna grow over time. 1.9 thousand searches per month. Now people here are looking up funny chat GPT prompts. So you could put together a list of 500 funny chat GPT prompts to get funny output. But you can see, once again, people are looking this up all day and all night. Then we can go over to Etsy. Now I recommend the best place to do research is to start with Etsy because that's where you're going to sell them. If we just type in chat GPT prompts, you can see real estate for teachers, for Etsy, marketing, nurses, nurses is interesting, social, uh, small business, e-commerce, wedding. Now, if we come down to real estate, these are real estate buyers and sellers. What are some of the aspects of their business? 
probably marketing, how to get more customers, how to get in front of a wider range of people. And we could create that type of content. But look at this, 25,000 prompts, they just prompted and grew everything, it looks like. Uh, but you can see here that this is something that literally anybody could do. You could do chat GPT prompts for real estate agents who want to grow on social media. Real estate agents can never have enough clients. And so you're going to save them time, you're gonna help them make more money, and you're going to shortcut the frustration these people will buy. So there are at least three different ways. The best way though is to use Etsy. So what we could do is go to etsy.com, it's free. Go to um, chat, type in ChatGPT prompts, and then go through each letter of the alphabet. See if something pops up for Q, and wedding and writing, okay. But go through each letter of the alphabet. ChatGPT prompts for education. That's an interesting one for email, for Excel. So for email, people want to write maybe a broadcast email. They want to create an autoresponder sequence. These are all things that you can do. Look at this, a thousand chat GPT prompts for copywriting. Um, we can just go through each letter of the alphabet. Now I won't bore you and do that, but you can see that these there are people that are actually searching this. People use Etsy as a, sh uh, as a search engine, as a shortcut but you're going to create these priced at about $5 and there's a lot of opportunity, okay? So now that we have a bunch of ideas, what you're going to do is go over to ChatGPT and you are going to ask ChatGPT for prompts. So if your niche is, let's say, ChatGPT prompts for YouTube, we are going to come back over to ChatGPT and we're going to calibrate it. So we want to type in something like, act as an expert in chat GPT prompt writing. The next thing that we want to say is we want to tell it to act as an expert in whatever niche that we're creating these prompts for. For this one, I think we are doing, um, I'll paste this in, okay, for YouTube. So then we could say something like act as an expert in YouTube. And then the first thing that I like to do is I like to say, uh, list the aspects of, of of being a YouTuber, being a YouTube content creator. And then here it's gonna give us the different aspects. And so after that, the next question that we wanna ask it is we want to tell it to give us prompts to help someone that is just getting started with YouTube in these different levels. So hopefully it gives us some step-by-steps here. It took a couple minutes to get fired up. So, okay, so content strategy is one. Then we are going to come back over to ChatGPT and we're gonna say something like, um, we want to help brand new YouTubers create content. List prompts that they should ask ChatGPT to create a great content strategy. All right, so it's still working. You can see that it has lots of steps. But what I've typed in is we want to help new YouTubers start a successful YouTube channel. Please create 30 prompts to help them develop a great content strategy. Now, once this is done, I'm going to hit enter and it's going to give us a bunch of prompts. Again, we are going to give them these prompts. So it actually came up with it's writing 30 right now. Just wrote, read through, make sure that they make sense. Sometimes they're going to be off base a little bit, but that's fine. The next step is to copy these prompts and put them into a Google Sheet, which I use, or you could even do an Excel spreadsheet. So I'm just gonna tell it to continue writing. Let's assume that we we get the prompts that we're looking for. I always ask, are there any additional prompts that we should include? It will give us a few more. And then I'm gonna say, is there anything else we missed? It's gonna give us a few more. After that, I copy these prompts and I put them into a Google Sheet. This is an example of a Google Sheet. You can see there's only, um, only 100 or so. I don't even know what these questions are, but this is an example. I think this is for, for a wedding. Anyway, what we're going to do next, once we have all of our our um, our prompts, we are going to share this sheet. You cannot just share links over on Etsy. You have to share the actual sheet. So we're going to click on share. I'm going to click on copy link. And then what I do is I put it in Canva. You see right here where it says download. I make this, I change this to um, link here. I delete that. And then I paste it in just like this. Hit enter and we're done. Now what I other do, also do too, to help me make more money with this, is I offer them a free Canva account. If they upgrade from the free to the premium version of Canva, I am an affiliate for Canva, I get paid a commission. I also tell them to start a website and then I have a link to my program to help them start a business. So what can happen here is they click on this link, they start a Canva free account, they upgrade if they ever upgrade, I can make money, okay? So from here, you are going to click on share. 
Then you are going to click on download and then you are going to change this to PDF standard. Change this to the make sure that you're only downloading the first two. So we'll uncheck these like this, click on download, click download again, and this is gonna download to your computer. Once you have this, we're going to open this up and you can see these are clickable links now. I'm going to right click, I'm gonna open in incognito mode so you can see what happens. Boom, just like that, we get the links, okay? Now, what I recommend that you do is I recommend that you make this look like a button. And to make it look like a button, you're just gonna to go to elements, you're going to click on this rectangle or square, <laughs> I don't know my shapes, and what I do is I just make this look like a button and I drag this out like this, I drag this out like this, um, I made this a little bit smaller. I'm gonna go to text here, click add heading, and then I just go, I type in download like this. And then I will drag this over this, make sure I change the color to white so that they can see it. And then I also underline it so it looks like, it looks like it should be downloaded. But that's all you have to do to deliver the product. Now, I recommend that you go out and find affiliate links that are congruent. If you're doing the teacher one, it may not make sense to have them get a website or start a business, okay? So the other thing that you need to do is you need to create mock-ups because people will not buy unless they can visually see what they are getting. Because they're getting a digital file, oftentimes they have a problem with that. Now what you can do is you can actually create, you can create your mockups right here in Etsy. Now I'm using, I believe this is 2000 by 2000. What I do is I just click on add page and then I do my brand color. So maybe um, if I wanted to, I could just change this to, I don't know, gray we'll say for example. And then I'm gonna go to text, then I'm gonna add heading and then I'm going to say 5000 chat GPT prompts for YouTubers. The way that I do this is I try and make, why is this linked? I try and make this as big as possible. So let's say this is at um, 200, we'll say. I'm going to make sure that this is lined up with this. So this is going to be significantly smaller and I'm gonna keep it to two lines, okay? We'll just make sure that we get that and I'm just going to hit enter just like that. So I'm gonna put this up in the corner then what I would also include is some elements that you can find here for free. So I'm just gonna type in YouTube because that's who we're targeting, people that wanna be YouTubers. So I'm gonna put this over here and then I'm gonna do another page. On this page, I'm going to give them an idea of what they're getting. And to do that, I just do a screenshot of this product. So I'll do a screenshot like this, come back over to Canva and I'll put that screenshot right here. Another thing that you can do is you can tell them exactly what they're getting. So we would create another text box here and we're gonna tell them that they are going to get prompts for these different sections, content strategy, originality and creativity, consistency, um, production quality, engaging, and so on. And then the final page that I have, because I only use four images, I'll tell them the process. So the process is, is you purchase the product, you'll download the product, and you'll be able to implement these prompts right into ChatGPT. This is the, this is it. This is gonna take you about 30 minutes per prompt that you do, okay? And again, this is something that you anybody can do. I've shown you free ways to do it. I've shown you paid ways to do it. The thing is, for most people, you're gonna try this once, money's not going to immediately fall out of the sky and you're gonna say, Alston scam me. Hey, I didn't scam you because this is free, but um, you have to do this consistently and persistently over weeks, maybe a month, okay? Do a new prompt every single day. Upload a new prompt every single day. Again, you're gonna get, if you use that link I share with you, you're going to get 40 free prompts or 40 free listings. So you can do a new prompt every single day. Do a new prompt every day, okay? This works. It worked for me. It worked for Peach Cobbler. It, it's been working. You can see here, if you look on Etsy, it's been working for many people. Why not you? It's not gonna work for you simply because you're gonna try this once, you're gonna throw your hands up and you're gonna say, Alston, scam me. But this works. This works all day, every day. All right, off my soapbox. Guys, what I have been doing is under PLR repository, I've actually been putting together done for you digital products included in the done for you digital products are done for you chat GPT prompts. So if you want to shortcut the process, me saving you time so that you're willing to pay for it, 
go ahead and check out the second link in the description. It's called PLR Repository. It's a one-time payment. And I actually will update new, I'll, I'll upload three to five new digital products every single month forever. Okay, so you pay that one-time charge, one-time price, then I then I then you'll get access to three to five new digital products. Some of them will be chat GPT prompts, some of them will be digital planners, some of them will be notion planners, all sorts of stuff for you to sell however you want. You can sell them on Etsy, you could sell them with YouTube ads, you could sell them with Facebook ads, do whatever you want with them. But if you're looking to save time and get done for your digital products, check out PLR repository. Watch this video next because YouTube says it will help you grow your online business.